Tuscaloosa, Alabama should be a lot of fun tonight because the highest scoring Ole Miss Rebels are in town and the Alabama players, coaches and faithful have made this one personal because of Ole Miss's come from behind upset a year ago in Oxford. Welcome to the SEC on ESPN. And here we go. Stewart. Makes a cut, loses the ball, Rebels fall on it. And Alabama, which had a disastrous special teams turnover a year ago in Oxford, fumbles away the opening kickoff. Here with an attitude, and they get aggressive here on the opening kickoff. I couldn't tell if his own player may have kicked that ball loose. Yeah, his own player that time, being trying to block a guy, the force of that. And Jalen Walton to his left, Kelly batted down on first down as that big Alabama knocks it down. Kelly looks left, flips it in the flat, Walton makes the catch, shoved down to move the chains. Kelly in the pocket, fires near side, incomplete for Evan Gary Wunderlich. They've been scoring touchdowns, not field goals, and Alabama has to be. They've been mostly tucked away for the last 20 years, only the second time they've worn them in the last couple of decades. Noble's kick. Time goes to Drake, he'll take a knee. The other guy. Perimeter of the Ole Miss defense, jet sweep, things like that. And Drake has it on the jet sweep. Can't turn the corner as that quick Ole Miss defense is up to stop it. Why you're seeing Bateman now get his opportunity. Bateman has it, flips it short to O.J. Howard. The tight end gets a block on the edge and has room down the sidelines. The block by Robert Foster. That's players, Howard. 30 yards to the Ole Miss, 43, and now Derrick Henry. Strong. Henry in the pistol. Hammer straight ahead. He hit. Need a yard on third down. Give it to Henry again. That is not. Bateman looked left immediately. Completion, but not a first down. Robert Foster caught it. And Webster's play gives Kelly the ball in a second possession, and he fires it into traffic. Evan Ingram makes a catch in tied terror. Comes the up-tempo. Kelly flips it out, dropped by Jalen Walton. It's incomplete. And when you do that, you leave yourself open to the middle of the field. Kelly pursued, shows his mobility, fires high and complete. Physical as he's ever been, just a lot quicker. Another pass batted down, something that gained to Ingram. Defense rises up, and here comes Will Gleason, the Aussie punter. Drops the tip and tries to knock it deep, and excellent coverage there. Henry. Muscles forward. To get the ball vertically downfield, thrown downfield, so somebody's going to have to become that guy tonight. How can they use Kenyon Drake, number 17? Versatile weapon. We'll find out. Stewart. Well strung out by it. Bateman looks right, fires complete. Howard hit again and sway the best tackler on the defense. He's a senior. Oh. He's only 5'9. And now the Rebels come across and they gifted the tie to first down. It's Kenyon Drake in the backfield, and Bateman hands it to him. And the senior from Powder Springs, Georgia, who's a high school. The guy that is the most dangerous with the ball in his hands. He's got it in his hands again. And he's got the corner. Flips a tap. A year ago in Oxford. He's got it again. Penetration, and that's Robert Kim Deach. The penetration. Top five prospect in the next draft. Bateman fires downfield. Catch. 18 yard gain. And not much there. Play action. Far side fire off the hands of Stewart, who saw it yet tonight. Tied need nine, and it's going to be 14 as Ebbles. Don't pressure. But they get near Bateman with only three. They dump it off short to Henry, but he line. J.K. Scott, the sophomore putter, trying to break out of a little bit of a slump. Boots it high. Bounces and will be downed very near the. And there is the first run. Walton picks his way, but big advantage for Bama. This is Walton again. Trying to get the edge, a quick burst, and you ran around Reuben Foster. They fake it to him. Kelly's pass for the third time. Second and ten. They flip it short and hit immediately. A lot of this chess match all night. They snap it at two. Kelly, pressured, escapes. Gets 
it's a first down, and you can see. And using his feet. Walton chased by Eddie Jackson, and again gets the. Walton again. Dancing for a short game. Not sure who should be in the game and whether they're lined up in the right spot. Ole Miss tries the middle on Corey Clement in the opening. That's not where you want to run against Alabama this year. Some of the edge runs have produced gains, but not the yep. middle. Leeson's punt will be down at the 28 yard. It's a whole new deal. Bateman to Henry. And he is stopped short. Both sides have very high behind the big fella, Cam Robinson. Henry again hit in the backfield as Kandir. Henry again. A couple of blockers and absolutely runs over. Rebels crowd the line, do bring pressure. It's picked up and Bateman fires complete. Foster a leaping. And find the open man. He got 16 yards against Davis, the corner who came in to replace Webster. In the second and sent a seven. Little fake in front. They take a shot and it's just nowhere. Ridley in motion, but Henry has it and picks his way in the middle for a short gain. He said it both up. Second and seven. Oh, and the flat almost intercepted. It was hot. And rush only three. Bateman has time, delivers a strike for a first down. A quarterback Bateman and his receiver. First bowling. and goal. Henry hit immediately for look for the tide. Ridley in motion gets it and gets dropped for a four. Again, a three man rush, lots of time, delivers a strike. Stewart makes the catch, but again, doesn't get And Griffith knocks it through. Didn't look like the most. Anything involving watching football, you know your way around the devices. Yeah. <laughs> Jalen Walton at the five yard line. Squirts free. Walton, oh, just. Tackled at the ankle. Four for nine, 29 yards. It's a reverse. Cody Core coming around. Jackson stays at home and makes the tackle for no. Up to the defensive line and we're trying to wear Ole Miss down up front. They fake it to Wilkins. And Kelly takes a shot, shows the arm downfield, just over. Oh, they need 10 on third down. The tie, bring pressure. Kelly stands in, fires along the sideline, but combined of the first two games. This is his third punt tonight. Delivers a line drive that goes off the hands of Cyrus Jones, who has to retreat and will be dropped way back. He's got it. Bunch of blockers out front, but a whole lot of rebels. Some, something going on first and ten. Here comes some pressure. Bateman stands in, delivers downfield, and it's intercepted. Nobody in the area but Trey Elston. And look out, he's very dangerous with the ball in his hands. Elston into Alabama territory and dances out of the 20. Kelly who flips it in the flat. This is Wilkins. And Raglan drops him after a yard gain. They'll try it again. This is Wilkins getting in the edge and he gets a crease and gets a first and goal. Side string fellow. First and goal throw for Kelly. Stop a short of the goal line. Wilkins diving, stop short. Ford on fourth down. Liggins, handoff on the edge and just waltzing into the end. Thinking about the edge, easy for them to get to the edge that time and for the touchdown. It's why Saban says they lost in Oxford last year. They put that loss to Ole Miss on their own mistakes, and it's happening again tonight. This is Drake. He can change a game with a play. A good coverage by the Rebels, they knock him down. Now Kelly a chance to add to the lead, a pump fake. On first down, takes a shot to the end zone, jump ball. Kelly hands it off, Wilkins. Tries to squirt free, but gets alone right now with Jones. Instead, Kelly looks to the right, and it's batted down for a fourth time tonight. Three receivers to the left. Kelly with the keeper. Tries to get to the edge, lowers the shoulder, goes airborne, and dives in. Into a touchdown, he gets to the corner, has to go airborne, get hit and get across the goal line and into the end zone. Showed a lot. This is Jones, who fumbles it and better just take a knee. The way showed the coaches they were wrong. Gives it to Henry, he's hit in the backfield. Again, flop. He fake it to Drake. Coker with his first pass attempt tonight, over the middle and air mailed. He was, and Coker needs 11 on third down. 
fires a strike. Mullaney makes the catch. It is for you. Poker, a first down throw. And again, it's very high. You wonder if. Second and ten, they hand it to Henry. Hammers for about five. Poker delivers. First down strike. Cross mid. All three games. Play action. Poker takes a shot. Downfield. Looks for Foster. Off his hands. Rick plays close, but not quite so far. Second and ten. They flip it to Henry. Gets away. Gets a couple blocks and muscles near the. And Drake's got it. And he just has the first down. Gonna Stewart this. is going to throw it. Or wanted to anyway. And the end is just going to be wrestled loose tonight yet for a big play. Coker, a screen to Henry. Has blockers. And gets ahead of steam and dives down. In. Defense gets penetration. At 15 yards in that one. Almost intercepted. Stewart in motion. Drake out of the backfield, but Coker throws left to Mullaney behind. And they are three for three on this drive on third down. They need 10. Right away, Coker has to sidestep pressure. Chased, stays alive, weaving, and gets a first down and goal. That might be the Hackney. Next thing you know, he's got a first down. 15 yards and a first and goal. Now a throw. Incomplete in the. Coker looking far side. Flips it to Mullaney, who leaps and hurdles for a touchdown. Ball eventually into the end zone. 75 yard drive, 540. Stunned and quiet has come to life. Very short pop kickoff by Griffith is taken. Fair catch by the Rebels at the 26 yard line. Let's relive. That was quite a day and a story. But Jake Coker coming off the bench after getting benched. And very hard. They've got to throw quick passes out to the flat. And they've got to be able to run the football better. Walton takes Griffith's kick in the end zone. Excellent coverage, and he's dropped. The concern for Ole Miss is poor field position. On first down, Kelly fires. It's complete. Treadwell looking to make an impact tonight. Twists for about. Get him the football in the first play out to get him the ball. And they run it back, and on second and short, he'll pick up the first down in the first half. Move it off inside again. Ingram motions to the backfield. Stays in as a blocker as Kelly fires near side and Cody Core. Let's pick up the first down. High snap. Kelly has to collect it. Makes a desperation heave into traffic. Treadwell off his hands and into the hands of Adebayo. A crazy carom and a touchdown for the Rebels. Through that football. That's what it takes to get an explosive play. Yeah, that, that's against all the two safety left. <laughs> that's, that's all it takes. I guess when you have a guy like Laquan Treadwell, you can do that. Just throw her up. Let's see if the tide can cleanly handle this kickoff. It's Drake. You just take a knee. Five. Again, down by 14. Play action for Coker, who delivers a strike. Ridley in space. The talented true freshman out near midfield in the tie track. Coker, some confusion, was waiting to hand the ball off. Nobody came to him. And he's the last time they've even been down 14 at home. Coker, deep drop, chased by Kimdichi. Gets away. Coker, the runner, all of a sudden. Where has this been? First cut back into the defense. Another 15-yard run. This is Henry for a short game. Stepped out of the game there. Drake. Yet to make a real big impact on this game and is knocked down. Coker fires looking for Mullaney, who is going pressure. And they bring it. And Coker still has time, delivers in trap. More in his story. Rebels take over. And the downfield throw is just behind. Kelly. Just lost the ball. Now he goes and jumps on it. Was his arm coming forward? It's a fumble. It's third and nine here. Third and eight. He went and collected it. Now Kelly on third down to Treadwell over the shoulder grab. In between Matias Smith. 30-yard gain on third down. Rebels trying to use some tempo here and a first down throw on the near sideline as this offense. Got to hurry. Kelly over the middle. Wide open. Liggins running free. And he's another big guy. Miss. Rebels are playing fast. 
but nothing doing inside to Jalen Walton. Kelly fires to the end zone. Not even Treadwell could come up. Kelly pressured again, just lobs it into the end. as quickly as he can. So Wonderlich, good from 32 earlier and good from 34 right there. Right there. Got his sunglasses because he's been out tailgating all day. Did not expect to see this tonight. This was about redemption. This was about paying back. Oldman Drake and Derrick Henry. Coker steps up. Escapes for now. And we'll just throw it away. Heather Cock. He's been too much of a force. Coker flips it to Henry on the edge, and he's dropped for a loss. Behind the line. <laughs> Coker. Delivers in traffic again. They're talking a chance to be able to react and knock the ball away. The Rebels jump offside. It could be the second time. They're... Scott gets it away. Late fair catch made by Carlos Davis, but it'll just roll dead down near the 20. So midway third quarter. Cole Miss has caught all the breaks. Walton. Chased and dropped by Eddie Jackson on the passes. This team came in here expecting to win. Walton gets a crease. Almost busted a huge. This would come in and, and do this. Completion on the far side and breaking free is core. Finally shoved out by Eddie. Hey, Jack Kelly. Game was 34 and first down. Kelly wants to throw again on the sideline and Treadwell. First down to 15. Kelly's hit. Loses the ball. Now they're going to ruling complete. Raglan has it, and the crowd's going crazy, but the arm coming forward, an incomplete. But yeah. And second down, Kelly fires near side. Treadwell spins free. You hope that the official sideline to sideline. They barely got the play off. It was third. Lot. And they fire near side behind. It's some mistakes on that drive at the end of that drive. Wonderlich who remains perfect in his career inside. You should not challenge Leonard for that the rest of the year. Why would you? Drake with the three. Gets the edge. Briefly dances inside and fights still fighting across the 30 yard emergency. Last time he called it a crucial. They went three and out. Now they're three points farther behind. Coker throws right into the hand. Coker rolling, Chase delivers a strike. And the catch is made there by soon the game. And the figures to get it. Now they're going to throw in third down. Ridley makes a catch, makes a man miss. And the true freshman. That he can catch it and make a move and, and get upfield. Ridley could be that guy. Here's Henry. Stiff arm on the edge. Derrick Henry rumbling free in the secondary. A big gain down inside the 20. Defenders. Got 30 that time. Coker delivers it to him, and Henry Rake is in the game. Rebels crowd the line, bring pressure, but it's a completion to Stewart, who's knocked down inside. They give it to him. He bounces it and has a first and goal at the block to help spring him. Great hours for a short game. Will become a factor in the fourth quarter. Coker keeps it and picks his way to the end zone for a touchdown. So Griffith does make it a 13 point the Rebels. Griffith's kick carries into the end zone. There's a first down run and stuffed out, dropped for a lot, making life tough for Kelly. Who's trapped and dropped. The Sean Hamm. Tie. Bring pressure again. Kelly slammed for a loss. Be punt away. Fair catch made in Ole Miss territory. So guys, it's all mental. Dig deep. Henry knocked down. It's mental for sure. But we're going to find out here in this fourth quarter. Coker, the throw to Henry. Gets a block on the edge from Howard. And muscles down inside the... Very sure-handed. Give it to him again. Slips the tackle. Still powers forward down. Henry again. Hammers forward, bounces off tacklers, and dives down for a first. Coker looks that way, fires a slant, a low throw, and a completion. 
Hoker on the move, fires short, caught, Stewart, touchdown, walk it in. Stronger and Ole Miss seems to be wiltering here in this humidity. He's on this Ole Miss offense. It's Jalen Walton back to receive the kick from Griffin at the goal line. Knocked down short of the 20. First down throw and a dart for a nine yard gain. Second and one. Kelly keeps it, throws it, and a completion. Battle Core is running free. And a touchdown for Ole Miss. Kelly went right to the line of scrimmage. Stopped and delivered. Bunch formation. Buchanan looks that way. Kim Deach, he just dropped it. He was a little eager there, and the tie were all over the line and finds Cody Core wide open. Drake right at the goal line. Weaves his way out to the 25. Kirk yeah. yeah, But it's a tough call for the umpire to make it sure in that is. situation. Sure Typically, is. that's his call. Coker now tries to get it back. Just heaves it down there. Stewart. Coker delivers in traffic. Henry trying to escape. It'll be third down. There was some. Tide need five on third down, but it's intercepted. Coker threw it. Backer. Alabama minus four in turnovers now. And this is Wilkins. Nice. And fake it to Wilkins. Kelly throws for the end zone. Drumbo jump ball touchdown. To take a football away from a defensive back. And Treadwell left. All of a sudden, a couple plays, and it's 43 to 24. They haven't scored two touchdowns in about four minutes. Ole Miss has scored two in a minute. Him out to play some ball in the second half for some big plays. Drake, the first down handoff. And Heather, you know very well. Coker fires, sidelines. You can catch. Back after the defense can maybe come up with a stop. Coker, pump fake. Lobs it down for Stewart. Streaking down, but over his head. Coker again. Just fires it incomplete. Brought back. Coker on third and ten. Delivers. Off the hand. <laughs> Quite a few. Coker on fourth down. Steps up and delivers to Mullaney right at the mark. In that first down marker, and the quarterbacks definitely look to him. Coker steps up. Thinks about running. Things like that help keep the clock moving. Coker fires incomplete. Obviously, if you're the Rebels, you want to run third. Henry takes off, breaks a tackle, and they move the chains again. Do it quickly. Coker has time, delivers in the flat. Mulaney. I call or not, there's confusion. Goes back into the boundary. It's Ridley making a catch, but he's going to be thrown for a long. Number 11, it's been all over the field here. So on third and long, Coker delivers over the middle of strike to Howard, who pinballs off defenders and gets down inside. Coker rolling, looking, and just throws it away. Mullaney was open. Mo the corner on him. Coker over the middle, incomplete, looking for Ridley to the right of Coker. Henry keeps it and cuts it back for a touchdown. So Coker just rolls the pocket and delivers high. I was looking for Ridley, but no chance to make a play. And Robert Kim Deach with that formation. Get a big hop, batted in the air. Still rolling around out there, and the tide fell on it. Tony Brown or Cam Sims collected it at the 30-yard line. Against the tire defense, but pressuring the quarterback immediately. The big play. Hooker on second and long gets Kambichi at the right defensive end spot. Well blocked that time, and Mulaney makes a first down catch at the 15. Ball's hitting him right on the right in the hands. Now power four with Henry inside the 10. Henry again. Down to the two. And on first and goal. Why not? Rebels are ready. Falls for. Coker this time. Rolls out. Fires. In the air. Touchdown. Mulaney again. One score game. 
robbed them for touchdowns. Griffith had that perfect onside kick. Griffith will boot it away. A short kick, and again, a, a fair catch made. There was room to run in the Rebels offense. Quarterback drops immediately, wrestled down at the line. Kelly still has it, fires far side. Catch is made and breaking free on the far side is DeMore Strong. Looks like a pass formation with a bunch of receivers. They throw it in traffic again. Stringfellow with the catch. And Two safeties deep. Quarterback keeper again and again immediately tackled by Rat. The football back. It brings some pressure. Kelly delivers. Almost intercepted by Minka Fitzpatrick. This fellow receiver yeah, on that exactly. one. So Gleason rolls to his left, boots it away. Cyrus Jones is driven back inside the 10 and knocked down right there. Position. In his end zone. Scrambles out. Coker has plenty of running room. This goes a 26 yard gain. Coker loops it downfield. Underthrown and intercepted by Tony Bridges. And Kelly keeps it. Gets the edge. Gets a first down, gets across the 45, and a... And bleed the play clock down to two, and hand it to Walton, who's knocked down for a yard loss. If you save him. Second and 11. Tide cannot stop the clock now. Walton again, squirts free, dives forward down near the 30. That's... Ligon straight ahead. Not going to get it. And they're running in short of the 30 yard line, so the Rebels will rush three. Coker fires near side to Howard, so you could reach the end zone with a Hail Mary. Coker delivers a low throw, it's incomplete. Down to 20 seconds. And the last play, Hail Mary. Coker delivers over the middle, and that's dropped. Just took his eye off the ball. Coker heaves it, and it's incomplete, and that'll do it. Webster and Moore converged on the coverage, and the Ole Miss Rebels are going to beat Bama in back-to-back -back years and for the first time in Tuscaloosa since 1988. The greatest word for any offensive coach or head coach on the road. Victory. It's the formation. You love to call when you're on the road. I just saw his lips. I saw Hugh Freeze say victory, victory, meaning let's take a knee, kill the clock, and we're going to beat Alabama. Plus five in the turnover margin is the entire story of the game. And Chad Kelly has waited a long time to play on a stage this big. Quarterbacks a road win, perhaps not the night he'd hoped for, but he finishes with 341 yards, two unconventional long touchdown passes to say the least so the rebels shake up the season in week three 43 37 interviews post-game recover coverage and reaction coming up on sports centers we head right back to the studio now